Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Patugi, your academic advisor for your MSIT program. Today, I'm going to talk about one important thing in your uh, program uh, degree, and that is a form that you need to fill ahead of time when you start your uh, MSIT program here at North Carolina and State University, and that form is called Plan of a Study, or POS. Uh, you need to fill this form out by the end of your first semester. And that's basically, and this form is basically your plan of, uh, or map of your study. And it, it tells the graduate college and the department that which courses you want to uh, take along your uh, program in your future semester up until your graduation. So how, you, how do you find this form? If you go on uh, uh, Google and search for North Carolina ANTSA, uh, University and POS, you'll easily find it. So I say, in Google, I say NCAT POS. And if I search for that, you'll find it in Aggie Hub. And here is the form, plan of study. Make sure that always you download the most recent form, most uh, updated version of the form. And here is the form. When you start this, uh, this form, the top part of that is your uh, kind of information, last name, email, first name, banner ID, and then the term that you uh, you expect to be graduated, and then the college and the program that you follow. All of these are, uh, you just pick them from the list, so there is no way that you make them uh, kind of, you fill them, you enter them wrongly. And this part that says revise and date, it's very important. We don't, we don't fill it until, uh, if something uh, kind of happens that they talk about it. So you normally, for the first time, you don't fill the revise and date here. And then uh, here you, you're going to mention that um, for the MSIT program, you have to take 30 credit hours. And that 30 credit hours might be a combination of coursework uh, that you say, for example, you would 30 here and the total is 30. That is one way you, can, you could do your master. Or another way you, you do 30, uh, four credit hours of uh, coursework and then six credit hours of, uh, let's say, master's project, or that's the second option, or you do six credit hours of thesis. These are all different options that you could follow or you could pursue your MSIT program. So this is the way that you want or the options that you have for conducting your, for um, doing your uh, study in Masters of Information Technology. And the next part is the information of your advisor, which is me. You put uh, my name. My name's Ahmad Patugi. And then Department's Computer Systems Technology. Please don't put abbreviation. Computer Systems Technology. And then my email address, you'll find it and you put it here. Here are the courses. This table is a uh, kind of list of courses that you want to transfer. If you don't have any course that you want to transfer, you just leave it blank. And then you go to the next page. In the next page, we have two tables. In the first table, you list the courses that you want to take. And then you put if there is any prerequisite for them. For the master courses, we don't have any prerequisite. And then the number of credit hours. And then the term that you want to take them. Let's say, for example, you want to take CSC 7, 750, uh, computer system security. So you say CSC, CST 750, computer system security. This is this should be a spell exactly like this. Anything other than this, the administrating uh, person, they may reject it and uh, they which may delay your uh, your kind of process and of getting the PIN or even delaying your graduation. Prerequisite, nothing. Number of credit hours, you put three. And then, for example, semester, you put the spring 2024. That's it. Uh, like I said, they're, they very care about the, the graduate office and the administration person uh, in our department. They very care about the details and anything like that. It delays your uh, access to your PIN. And then, for example, you want to take, let's say, CSC 615, whatever the name of the course is, three credit hour in the spring, let's say 2024. And then you go to the next semester. You say, for example, some another course, 
the name of the course should be the name of the course comes here exactly as, as it is on the uh, as it is exactly on the kind of um, on your um, Aggie access or as it's on the um, graduate handbook. So uh, yeah, uh, let's say for example, let's assume for the next semester you want to take, for example, CSC. I'm sorry, this should be CSC. I'm, I'm using two monitors, that's why. CSC 650, which is, for example, wireless communication. Let's say I put the name here and I'm gonna take this in summer one. This is how you say summer one, 2024. So you list all the courses you wanna take until uh, until the very last semester, uh, on, before your last semesters, and you put the number of credit hours, the semester you wanna take them. The, very, the courses that you wanna take in your very last semester, let's say for example, you wanna take uh, in assuming that you want to take you yeah, start of spring, you want to end in a spring 2026. Or spring 2025, for example, you want to take what course? Let's assume that you want to take CSC 702. CSC 702 which is a statistical methods and information technology. So this is a course that you wanna take in your very last semester, You put, so you put them here. The courses in very last semester, in the semester that you are gonna graduate, you, put, you list them in this uh, bottom part of this table. And then the total should be 30 credit hours, transfer if you have anything, you put it here. And then grand total is 30. Of course, if you have credit, if you have extra, if you're transferring anything, your total here is a, for example, 27 and three here. And then you, you, you sign here. There is nowhere that you put your name when you wanna sign. You just sign this portion and then you put the date and then pass it uh, after you signed it and they did save it and pass it to me. I review the form, sign this, uh, put my name here, sign here and date here and send it uh, for the department chair for final approval. And then after him or her, it's gonna go toward the graduate college. So uh, here, uh, lastly, I'm gonna share my screen, share a different window with you so that you know what are the major things to consider. So these are the major items to consider when you're filling your uh, plan of study. First, you gotta show us that you're fulfilling 30 credit hours. You complete, uh, you put the complete code and name of each course, for example, CSC 750 computer system security, don't uh, change anything. Uh, you put the complete name of the semesters like summer 2, 2023, spring 2024, don't add anything to this or don't summarize them. For example, don't put summer, spring, 24. No, that's not. They want to see spring 2024. And then uh, you got to order the semesters based on the um, time that you take them. And then the courses of the last semesters are going to be on the second portion of that table. And then eventually I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm going get, to get back to the form again and talk about the situation that you may uh, need to make any changes. So let's let's assume that you have uh, filled your form and you have uh, signed it. Your advisor approved it, and the department has uh, has approved it. But later, because of some reason, you want to make some changes. That is the time that you come and prepare a new version, a new POS, and you reflect the changes in that new POS. And here you say that yes, this is revised. You put an X here and you put the date which means that this is your second POS. Uh, you have you have had a different one 
which previously was approved, and now you want to make some changes to them. So that's it. Uh, please uh, watch this video and follow the instructions so that, like I said, you can uh, very quickly and fast, you can get uh, to the alternate pin for your registration or uh, prevent any delay in your graduation. Thank you all and have a great rest of the day.